Dancing with the Devil. Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Alma Valentino and I'm the host of my channel. Let's talk about that. Today's episode, it's, it's a hard one. I, um, I wasn't planning on talking about this yet. Uh, I was building <laughs> to this, but um, it's just, it's way too much. I, I happened to watch a video, I don't, don't ask me, I don't remember um, where, what, what channel, but um, it was about the transitioners. And so I have a lot of rage and rant and shade to throw <sighs> to the medical community, to the trans community, to the trans community, because I don't think that it's really the community of trans people. I think it's just, it's, I don't know what it is. It's something else. It's something else. But it's not for trans people. It's not for people. It's political. It's a business. It's it's a lot of stuff. But it's certainly not a community. That's for sure. Um, so I wanna. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna. <laughs> we are. We are. But not today. Um, because. Listen, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna jump into it. I'm gonna read you something. This is a um, Reddit from the trans, the trans uh, Reddit space page. I don't know. I don't use it, but I I found it because nowadays the transitioners are everywhere, and I know everyone is talking about them. But apparently, not enough because uh, because look around. So, okay, here we go. Disclaimer, this is rough. Okay, uh, this got me very, very emotional. And uh, it actually triggered my anxiety. So, if you can't, like, maybe skip forward a little bit. Okay, here we go. I am a 17-year-old girl with a flat chest, a deep voice, a visible Adam's apple, and some facial hair. There's no reason for me to continue to live. I destroy myself, and I feel like all hope I have is stupid for me to have. I don't think any person will ever want to date me again. <clears throat> Before all this, people were into me, but I destroyed that. Now no one is gonna ever is no one is ever gonna like me. There's nothing I can really do without getting reminded of my past and how much I miss it. I feel ashamed of what I did. I'm scared people will never let me do decisions on my own anymore. <sighs> she says some other things, but she finished with, I'm 17. Why do I have to think about ending my life? It's too much for me to handle. There's no joy in my life anymore. Seventeen. That's that's too much. It is. Uh, why am I saying this? Why am I reading this? Why am I talking about this? Because there are so many posts about that, and so many of them are 
about people that refer to themselves as, as a waste, as a lost, as someone who will never be what they were meant to be. And some of them even go as far to say that there's it's there's no hope and why why even try to detransition people that are incredibly unhappy with the results of their transition with the hormones effects in their body with the surgery they went through and some of them are like absolutely lost and they think they do really think that there's nothing they can do and there's not even worth trying to go back because they will never be as they were or what they were meant to be or supposed to be and you have all the right to think that I'm no one to say anything or to have any opinion about this and I'm not trying to lecture anyone but this is breaking me and I'm not the only one is breaking my soul my heart my hope in in the future and before I go full rage towards the people that need to be accounted for this, I wanted to address you, you all that are suffering this, you people that feel there's no hope, that you will never be the same, and that is true. It is, and it doesn't, listen, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter how you got into it, because I saw a, a, a lady that said, I, I transitioned when I was 21. 21 so it's my fault I have no one to blame but me for that and um, well that's not entirely true but everyone makes mistakes yeah sure you made a huge mistake and you did something to your body that changed it forever. But you need to please, please, you need to stop. You need to stop. You need to forgive yourself. You really do. If it was your choice, if someone else or some or the people or, or, or doctors or your family or whatever convinced you you need to start by forgiving yourself because everyone fucks up everybody does in different levels but that doesn't mean you don't deserve forgiveness and fuck everyone else and fuck the community and fuck anyone who's not there for you you need to be there for yourself now you weren't there before we established that you made a mistake you went too far you did something you deeply regret and you're living with the consequences you need to stop and forgive yourself and you need to start loving yourself. And I know it's hard and I know it might sound meaningless coming from me or from anyone that is not living what you're living and going through what you're going through, but it's true. 
you need to forgive yourself you need to start loving yourself and loving your body and i know it might it must be so hard but your body deserves love your body is the flesh that allows you to live to experience the world it might sound so stupid and so superficial and superfluous but life itself not yours not mine not human life itself it's so freaking weird in this universe we haven't found it anywhere else I mean maybe some bacteria frozen in the, the, Mars I don't know but develop as it has developed in this planet nowhere to found so the fact that you're here that you have a body that allows you to experiment to feel the sun to breathe to smell flowers to feel the grass all of those things that sound so stupid i don't know how to say i don't know how to connect this idea with you but life is wonderful it's amazing it is so please stop hating yourself forgive you love you and give yourself time give your body time to heal because you didn't get there in two days you're not gonna go back in two days and believe it or not your feelings your words your your mental health your 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 focus has such an impact in your body and there are actually studies there are i forgot right now but i'm gonna link it below there is a study that this japanese um, um scientist made about water and he took microscopic photos of water under different situations circumstances and some of those were just a jar with a label where he wrote love hate sadness and how that thought change the water it's just so i know it sounds cliche but it's true what is here is going to affect your body so if you start your journey by hating yourself that's not gonna help at all and just step outside a little bit and look at yourself and ask you does this person deserve more of this does this person deserve hate no you don't so give yourself first what you need and even if you will never be what you were meant to be that's not a reason to give up it's not a reason to stop fighting it's not a reason to stop trying because life is so much chaos and i know it's not the same but there's so many people out there that went through all the things like cancer like burn um you know uh, burning uh wounds oh i forgot my i lost my english <laughs> sorry guys but you know burning victims um terrible terrible accidents amputees i know it's not the same but all of these people 
went through things that changed them forever. And their bodies are not what they were supposed or meant to be. But life's still there. And they learn how to love themselves and the body that allows them to be here and exist and experience so much. You are so young and your body is capable of amazing things. Give yourself the opportunity and start your journey by forgiving yourself. Everybody makes mistakes. Some are small, some are huge, but everybody does. And you can still love yourself after, after that. Even if your body will never be the same. Carry that as a lesson, maybe, maybe even as a battle scar. It's your story. And you're allowed to be enraged and, and sad and stressed and anxious and everything. You're allowed to be everything, but please just don't hate yourself. The forgiving process and the love, loving yourself process is hard. And there's so many people out there that struggle with other problems and or mental illness and they wake up and they look at the mirror and they hate themselves and this is for you too like it's hard but you need to start doing it you really need to start doing it and if you can if you feel like you need to speak out use your voice if you feel like you can't then keep it in talk to your friends i don't know do whatever you feel like you can and maybe one day you will be able to share your experience and be in the battle and and fight for all the people that are getting abused by the system to convince them to do this because of political and economic reasons by someone who doesn't give a fuck about you because a therapist that sees you three times for a total of four hours, five, maybe less than that, it doesn't give a fuck about you. It doesn't know you. So, love yourself. Start little by little. Find the smallest thing that you like about your body, that you still like about your body and start there and be patient. You need to be patient. Your body needs time to heal, to change, to go back or forward. Don't rush, you're young. And if you're not young, if you're 40 something, well, <laughs> I mean, you're not old, <laughs> you're still young, but if you're not a teenager, if you're not in your 20s and you're like, I fucked up, this is it. <sighs> it's hard, but you can still love yourself. And maybe, um, and, and please don't take it like I'm telling you what to do because I'm not telling you what to do. I mean, I would really like you to stick with that and, and, and at least think that you are able and one day you will be capable of loving yourself again. Capable of love towards you. But maybe if you're older, you, you will have more tools to help avoid this, to help this stop. 
because these are people that transitioned when they were 14, 17, 16, 20. But what's going to happen with the kids? Kids that are going through hormones when they're five. And we grunge about that later, but for this episode, I just, I just wanted to be there and tell you that if this community turns against you, it's not your community. And don't be afraid because you will find out that there's a lot of people out there that, I, that might even be full conservatives that will be there for you. You're not going to be alone. They want you to think that because they're convinced that you are the problem, not them. They are the problem, not you. You just open your eyes, allow yourself some self-love, some forgiveness, and to start over. It's not it's not done, your life is not over. Your life is not over. It will pass. It's hard. I cannot even imagine. But sometimes you have to get worse before you get better. So just hang in there hang in there think of this as your chemo is gonna suck you're gonna feel like shit your body is gonna be like what but it will get better you just need to keep pushing through for yourself because you deserve it you deserve it you deserve to be loved and you deserve for once to put to actually put yourself and your feelings first and your needs and to say i am okay i am worthy i'm a human being who deserves the same as everyone else and that starts within and i know it's hard but trust me you can do it so I'm sorry this was kind of a harsh episode, but we need to be there for these people. We do. And we appreciate so much that you talk about that, that, that you expose yourself, that you put yourself out there. And if you can't do it, it's okay. You don't have to. You're not obliged to do it. But for all of you, who are doing that thank you because I know it must be so fucking hard but it's so brave and so just it's just magnificent what you're doing it's the unspoken battle and and finally you're getting the attention that you deserve so if you don't believe me, I'm just going to read a couple of them. I'm going to put them in the description below. But we have Chloe Cole, Laura Perry, Grace Lindinsky-Smith. Sorry, I probably mispronounced that. Uh, Samuel Jordan, Kara Bell, Chris Beck. I mean, so many. So you're not alone. And transgender agenda, treatment, and culture today, this fake transgender culture is dangerous, detrimental, and evil. And if you don't believe me, look at these people. Thank you so much for being here. It's a sad episode. 
So we're gonna just, we're gonna just stop rolling here. Love you guys. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.